former ambassador at large Mei Sing Yang is currently in the Czech Republic for the fifth time. She recently visited the tomb of former Czech president Václav Havel, a great friend of Taiwan. In 1995, Havel spoke at the United Nations General Assembly and called for Taiwan's entry to the UN. He also led a delegation to Taiwan in 2004. Yang paid tribute to the former president and expressed thanks for his support of Taiwan. Our reporter Stephanie Yang is in Prague with the details. Holding flowers, former ambassador at large Mei Xin Yang bows three times in tribute to President Vaslav Havel. She thanked him for his contributions to Taiwan Czech relations. <laughs> When speaking about Havel's courage, Yang was moved to tears. I'm very happy to finally be able to come to the grave of President Havel today to pay my respects. I think that many Taiwanese want to show our respect and admiration because he was under the rule of the Communist Party and yet he dared to speak his mind. His influence made a difference in Taiwan. Yeah, I respect him. Haval, a writer, poet and philosopher, was once imprisoned for his democratic speeches. He led Czechoslovakia in 1989 in overthrowing its communist regime with a nonviolent Velvet Revolution. Later, he became the first democratically elected president of the Czech Republic. He served in that post until his retirement in 2003. <laughs> In his writings, he also encouraged Czech people to say what they really want to say. That is, for the Czech people, he demonstrated very strong strength and leadership, enabling the Czechs to stand up and become an independent nation. Haval also spoke at the UN General Assembly in 1995 in support of Taiwan's membership in the UN. In 2006, more than half of the Czech House of Representatives supported Taiwan's participation as an observer in the World Health Assembly. Haval also led a delegation to visit Taiwan in 2004. Yang met Haval twice. She said that she was deeply moved by Haval's spirit and determination. I met him twice, but I came to the Czech Republic four times. Actually, China invited him to visit many times. He personally told me he wanted to go to Taiwan and was not going to go to China. He respected the willpower of the Taiwanese because we are also on the front line. Our position is also very clear, so I think he also feels that our values are the same as his. We in Taiwan are isolated internationally, and we need to have more friends. Within Kaval, Yang donated a 150th anniversary edition of an Aunt Petrov 275 concert grand piano to the Rolls of Finnem concert in Prague. The Czech Philharmonic will hold a concert at the venue on May 4th. During her visit, Yang aims to not only pay tribute to President Haval, but also to deepen the friendship between Taiwan and the Czech Republic. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Huang Ritun in Czech Republic.